Robert Petrick, right here. Thank you. So I uh, found out I was creepy today. It's not something you want to find out. Uh, I was on the subway, uh, just looking around, and I just happened to be staring at a woman while she was sleeping. And uh, at that very moment, she opened her eyes, right? So she starts freaking out. Uh, so I say the first thing that comes to my mind, you know, I'm like, good morning, sunshine. And, uh, <laughs> She starts freaking out, right? So I freak out, uh, and I take my head off her lap, and uh, I get the fuck out of there. I don't know, I, uh, I also got caught peeing in the pool. That was not fun. The, the lifeguard saw me, he's like, sir, you gotta go. I'm like, that's bullshit. You know, get kids out of the pool when they piss in it. Uh, he's like, that's because they're normally in the pool when they're pissing in it. He's like, uh, please get off the high dive and get out of here. So. Right. I'm jumping. I got acupuncture earlier today. At least I think it was acupuncture. Uh, some Chinese guy stabbed me. It took $37. Not real sure what that was. I'm originally from Florida. I uh, moved up here because I was tired of the hurricanes. Uh, for those who've never been through a hurricane, it's a lot like a relationship. Because uh, when it's over, all your shit's in the front yard. <laughs> and you don't have anywhere to live. So, it's not very fun. I don't know anybody up here, though, which kind of sucks. I got to go out by myself. And if you're a guy out by yourself, a group of girls are not going to talk to you. Uh, I was out the other day, and there was this group of girls, you know, and they were staring at me for a while, and then one finally walks up to me, and she's like, are you here by yourself? I was like, yeah. She's like, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> and uh, I was like, you're probably the worst waitress I've ever had. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people watch uh, New York One for their weather, weather on the ones. I, uh, I, don't, I don't watch weather forecasts at all because I have my own weather telling system. Uh, I have a pair of balls, right? <laughs> and guys know exactly what this is about because depending on how much they stick to your leg is the weather outside, right? <laughs> like if they recede into your stomach, you know, it's called a shit outside, bundle up, right? But they're sticking to your leg, you know it's gonna be hot, right? And depending on how much you got to shake your leg is how hot it is outside, right? Like if somebody's just talking to you and they're like, hey, Robert, what's going on? You're like, nothing. <laughs> it's not that hot, right? But if you start lunging in the middle of a conversation, then that's how you know what's hot as shit, right? Like they're talking to you like, Robert, where are you going? Like, I'm over here for a second. <laughs> just got to get this. I don't know. I've made some big changes in my life. I decided I was going to stop watching porn. Uh, not because I don't enjoy it, I just find the titles misleading. Um, like the other day, I bought this porn, it was called Barely Legal, and I was like, sweet, there's going to be some hot 18-year-old chick having sex, but it just turned out to be two Mexicans. Uh, I was like, this is highly misleading. Before you guys freak out, my dad is from Venezuela, so I guess I could kind of say that and be all right. People find that out, though. They start speaking Spanish to me automatically, and I don't know any Spanish, uh, except for Cinco de Mayo, <laughs> which everybody knows means five jars of mayo. <laughs> I don't know. I grew up poor, but you probably realize that because I told you my father was Spanish. Um, <laughs> We couldn't afford Kool-Aid, we had to get flavor right. For those of you who don't know what flavor right is, that's three packets for 10 cents. Mom didn't want to splurge on the one packet for 10 cents. We, uh, we couldn't afford sugar, we had to use, I can't believe it's not sugar. <laughs> it just turned out to be salt. <laughs> Sucks, I think that's why I don't like kids now, because I didn't really like my childhood. You know, like that show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's like, of course I'm smarter than a fifth grader. I got him into my van, didn't I? <laughs> no, he didn't. I don't know, man. 
I went back home to see my mom a little while ago, uh, and I'm going to be honest, I hate flying. I got to get drunk before I fly. And uh, when I get drunk, I get a little talkative. Uh, and I guess I pissed off the guy I was sitting next to on the flight because he finally turned over to me and he was like, how the fuck did you get in the cockpit? And uh, <laughs> I gave him his hat back and I was like, excuse me. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy. You guys are drinking, that's cool. I like to drink. Hey, just don't drink and do drugs at the same time. It's not a good idea. You know, like they say, don't mix liquor, or, you know, like liquor before beer, you're in a clear, beer before liquor, never sicker. I guess that's true. But here's my saying, people. Uh, weed and liquor next, you and some nasty bitch are going to have sex. <laughs> don't mix, is what I'm saying. But I mean, weed is good. Like, there's a lot of, like, you can watch anything when you're high. Uh, like, the other day, I was watching this thing on blizzards for, like, three hours. <laughs> And then my roommate came in, he was like, hey, is your cable out too? And, uh, <laughs> no, there's this really good show on Blizzards. Commercial free. <laughs> and I know even if you don't smoke weed, it still has its advantages, you know? Like, say you hate your neighbor, right? You just buy a bag of weed, and you pick out all the seeds, and you throw them in their front yard. Right, and then in seven to 12 weeks, you can watch them go to jail. <laughs> and then all that shit you grew is profit. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's crazy. I like weed, though. It's cool. <laughs> it is. I realize here in New York, though, like, uh, ladies are tough. You got to have, like, nice shit. I'm not a big fan of that. This girl walked up to me, and she's like, uh, she's like, are you Irish? And I was like, no, not even close. She's like, what do you think I am? I was like, I don't know, a six? <laughs> I don't know. But I did have a girlfriend. She did break up with me. She, uh, she left me for another guy. And I probably should have seen it coming, you know, because when we first got together, some people told me that she was a bit of a slut. And uh, looking back on it, I should have listened to her kids. <laughs> Anyway, that's my time. Thank you guys very much. Have a good night. <laughs>